Hi everyone, my name is Judy from Happy Holistics and I am a yoga instructor in Toronto. If you'd like to check out my schedule, please follow the link below to my website. Today I'll be guiding you through two of my favorite restorative poses and if you like videos like this that talk about yoga, they guide you through how to do some poses, please remember to subscribe to my channel and click on the like button of this video. Let's go! This is how I like to angle my bolsters. Fold a blanket and place it onto the seat of your chair. You're going to be sitting right in front of the seat in a wide straddle. Slip a bolster under each knee or use two rolled up blankets to prop them up. You can fold your arms up on top of the blanket and round the spine forward to rest your head onto your arms. Close your eyes and stay here for a few breath cycles. Like I said earlier, if you don't have access to bolsters, just take two blankets and fold them to roughly the same height, like I'm doing here. Slip these under your knees instead. The idea is to fold them enough time so that your knees are bent and can rest comfortably on top of them so you're not feeling any stretch in your legs as you fold forward. How high you need it and how much bend you need in your knees depends on your body. If your legs still feel like they're stretching, just remove the bolsters and blankets entirely and sit cross-legged instead. We're thinking about allowing the back body to open as we fold forward so you do want to be comfortable enough so that you can stay a couple minutes. If there's a pulling sensation happening in your lower back, prop your hips up either with a bolster or a folded blanket. And if you're finding it hard to reach your head towards the chair seat and your neck is straining, add a bit more cushioning so that your head and neck are fully supported. So here I'm demoing just adding a second blanket. In the beginning, stay anywhere from 3 to 5 minutes as your body becomes more familiar with this pose, quieting the mind and being comfortable in the shape. Feel free to stay for up to 10 minutes. For our second pose, remove the props from underneath you, come to lie down on your back and take your legs onto the chair. Make sure your feet are fully supported. I needed to remove the blanket padding to prevent them from dangling. Slipping a bolster or folded blanket under the hips can also do the trick and add height to the thighs. You can close your eyes here or cover them with an eye pillow if you have. And sometimes it feels good to place a folded blanket underneath your head for support. See if you can stay between 15 to 20 minutes, focusing on releasing any tension from the day. Feel heavy in your legs and torso and allow it to melt into the chair and ground. Make sure that your wrists aren't angled in a way that would cause tension. Loop the shoulders up to your ears and then melt them into the earth. Separate the biting surfaces of your teeth and take the tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Finally, soften the space between your eyebrows and give yourself this time to relax and restore. To move out of the pose, gently roll off to one side. 